Prince Harry make a difference to the royal family? That's what this video will be about. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, so it seems like the uh, monarchy is not uh, adverse to just eliminating some people from the royal family. Now, whether it means eliminating them completely or just officially, you know, you have to decide about that. But uh, that's what we'll look at today in the cards and see. Um, does Harry matter? Okay, so this is going to be Prince Harry. Does he make a difference to the royal family? Does Prince Harry... You know, do they care? Does he make a difference to them? Does Prince Harry make a difference to the royal family? That's what we'll do today. Prince Harry. Huh. Does he make a difference to the royal family? Um, you know, it, it, it seems to me, practically speaking, that he does. I mean, they had to, he had duties that he took care of. They had to replace him with other royals to fill in those spots. Um, so as far as the workload, yeah, sure, he makes a difference to the royal family. But uh, I guess this is deeper than that. You know, does he make, are they hurt? Do they miss him? Do they want him back? So does he make a difference to the royal family? But first, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. Prince Harry, does he make a difference to those royals? Can I have these cards up right? I do. So these are great cards. I love them. And hopefully we'll get some meaningful divination out of this. So Prince Harry, does he make a difference to the royal family? Six cards. One, two, three. Four, five, eyes up here, and six. Okay, Harry, do you make a difference to the royal family? Deeply. Signifier card for this is going to be this three of wands. Well, this is talks about work, really. So the, the wands are actions, plans, motions forward. And the three of wands is uh, long-term plans. So, say, so making uh, something uh, that uh, you can a plan that you can follow into the future. So in that respect, uh, I would say, yeah, he does make a difference to the royal family. He is part of their royal, their long-distance plans. Hmm. The uh, challenge to that then is this ah uh, judgment. Yeah. So this is interesting that it would be displayed like this. So we have, in this picture, we have three babes just laying down, sleeping. We have uh, angels kind of over here uh, passing judgment over that. So this is interesting. So the uh, signifier is this three of wands, long-term plans. And we show this, uh, this female uh, really contemplating the future. And then where we say, what is the challenge to that? And it shows these babes uh, sleeping uh, just under judgment. That's interesting. Let me reserve my judgment of what this means for just a minute. The base of this reading, then, for where the Prince Harry makes a difference to the royal family, is this end of a cycle. So this is the the complete uh, end of a cycle. Uh, this is the world card, and um, very interesting. This. So the base of this whole reading is this end of a cycle. And uh, the challenge to those long-term plans is judgment. So, and we have sleeping babes uh, in judgment. Interesting. Uh, the past of this reading then is this king of wands. So in the past, the king of wands, wands are plans, uh, actions, motions forward. The king is in charge of that. And we see this king almost on the back 
of this little fox right here. So this is interesting. You know what this is? This little fox is hairy. And this king is the monarchy, could be even his dad, but uh, on the back of that fox. But the fox is making a dash for it. I'll put all this together in a, in a moment. And the sky of this reading as to whether uh, Char uh, Harry makes a difference to the royal family is the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is um, betrayal. And that's what's in the sky of this. And I think that's what Harry uh, feels uh, that has happened to him and he's been betrayed uh, some way. And then the final outcome for this first part, does he make a difference to the royal family, is this um, Ace of Wands, one big plan. His big plan. So let's go through it one more time before we go to the last four cards. So this uh, long term, he makes a difference to the royal family because of long term planning. And the challenge of it are these innocents uh, being judged. So I'm still not quite sure how that fits in. I would say that, um, you know, these, these uh, babes don't know what uh, their future uh, has in store. Uh, but there is some uh, divine. Uh, lesson there that will be judged on. That's very interesting. Uh, the base of this reading then, of course, is the end of a cycle, the world card, and the beginning of a new cycle. And so this, I think this represents both the royal family and also uh, Prince Harry's uh, journey. And then the past of this shows this king of wands in the past. This king is actually riding on the back of the sly fox. That's Charles and Harry. And then um, the sky of this reading with the seven of swords is uh, betrayal. Yeah, that's what uh, started this uh, journey of his away from the royal family. And then, and which is uh, evidenced right here by this ace of wands, a big plan. Okay, last four cards. Does Prince Harry make a difference to the royal family? Okay, the very self of that question is going to be right here. Ah, the lovers. Okay, so this is uh, Harry and Meghan. Okay, so this is what's important uh, to him. Does he make a difference to the royal family? He makes a difference to his family. Okay, but that's what's most important. The um, environment that that's in is this 13, and this is death. The, uh, yeah, so that's very interesting. I mean, you couldn't ask for more appropriate cards. So this is the death card. Uh, the lovers, Harry and his wife, are in the environment of this pending uh, doom, actually. The hopes and the fears for that is right here in this Knight of Swords. You know, Harry always comes to me in some way or another, in some place of these readings that involve him. I shouldn't say always, but quite often as a knight. So this knight is fighting for his truth. Swords of truth, justice, rules of law. And this uh, knight is fighting for his truth. This is Harry. Hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome of the whole thing as to whether Harry makes a difference to the royal family is uh, this eight of swords and the eight of swords is feeling trapped uh, truth justice rules rules of the royal family and uh, and here we go there's a little boy as a matter of fact trapped in that cage very interesting so yeah he does make a difference to the royal family because he's part of their long-term plans um, I think what we what this uh, um, this judgment of these sleeping babes uh, represents is that everyone's a babe uh, the royals uh, you and me uh, you know we are all uh, innocents uh, in some way, and uh, but uh, there will be judgment on our actions. Interesting. The base of this reading is this um, end of a cycle, this um, this world card, one thing stopping, another thing beginning. And I think that's his his part with the royal family. It's changed. Everyone has to accept that, and something else is coming into play. And then the uh, past of this reading is Charles riding on the back of that little fox, who I think is uh, Harry. It's even red like his red hair. In the sky of this reading, with this Seven of Swords, uh, Seven of Swords are a uh, betrayal. And Swords are uh, um, truth, justice, rules, and law. All, if Harry felt, he felt betrayed by that if he wasn't in fact betrayed by that. That's why he made a break. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this is this great big plan of Harry's uh, to get things going with this Ace of Swords. Then they said, what is the uh, self of that very question? Well, the self of that very question is love, Harry and his love. And they have every right to make a, um, a life of their own. However, he sees fit. It's his life. And then the uh, environment that it's in is death. Of course it is. It's the uh, pending uh, doom that we all know about. I don't have to say it. The uh, hopes and the fears for this, uh, with this knight of swords, this is Harry fighting for his truth. And then the uh, likely outcome is that, yeah, he felt trapped 
in those rules of the monarchy. And uh, why would he go back into that cage once you've gotten out? So, uh, yeah, he uh, the question didn't quite get answered, really. It says, does he make a difference to the royal family? He makes a difference in their plans. But he come to, came to a point here where he realized he had to have his own uh, plan, his own life. And so that's what he broke out for. Very interesting the way these came out. And so many of these cards seem very relevant to what we're talking about. So there we go. Well, there's the results. So let me know what you think about that. Uh, I'm not always sure that I agree with what I come up with, but uh, certainly uh, you have your take on it. Let me know. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so this deck by Los Carabillo is by renowned uh, uh, child, uh, children's book uh, illustrator, uh, Arthur Rackham. So this is called the Arthur Rackham Tarot. And these are amazing. Um, this uh, fellow was uh, born in 1867, and he was an illustrator of such books as uh, the Brothers Grimm uh, Tales, um, Peter, who was it? Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens. And uh, so the cards himself, they come in this typical uh, box. Okay, and it's got illustrations from uh, Rackham all around it, which is nice. The uh, illustration booklet is just a typical uh, booklet in, I think, three languages and just with a very brief uh, talk about uh, Rackham here, but with good um, suggestions as to how to divine the cards, but nothing to write home about. <clears throat> the cards themselves, they're just typical. There's nothing special about the back that I can see, and uh, they're easy to handle, And uh, but the thing about these cards is the work. So when you have an artist who has gone into such detail for these images, and these are pulled from his works over the um, ages, I guess, you know, I guess he was active uh, 100 years ago or so. And uh, so fairy tales for children. And so this sort of stuff just really lends itself perfectly to telling stories in the tarot. The one thing that's odd, like, so for instance, here's a nine of pentacles, and you won't see nine pentacles on here, so you really have to know what the divination is, and then interpret his drawings, which are just fantastical, uh, into that uh, divination. So I like to put the cards out like this so that you can get an idea of what the decks look like if you're not a person who buys a lot of cards, or I always have my eyes open for something different. Um, I love that uh, artists uh, come up with these cards, and... Um, and put so much attention into the original uh, works and then that gives us and then when someone wants to choose from their vast uh, repertoire to interpret the tarot that's even more intention laid on top of that so i hope you like them i'm crazy about them so these are arthur rackman's or just the rackman tarot by Liz Carabillo. i'm mark my journey through tarot tomorrow's another day stop by we'll do it again ciao for now really make a big difference. Thank you.